Hello friends, today I want to show you a cool tool. All of you probably heard about Lumen. There is an analog, this is Twinmotion, and Twinmotion is based on Unreal Engine. Here are some examples of what you can get, who it is comfortable for, and who can use it. These are architects and designers who want to get a high quality result quickly, in 10-20 minutes, to demonstrate their object to the customer. We go to the 3ds Max and here we need to prepare the model. So again when you download Launcher, you can easily find Twinmotion. Well, let's go through this official link from the Unreal Engine site. You will have Twinmotion download here. Here you will need to install the Epic Games Launcher, because all of Epic Games products, they recently bought Twinmotion last year. Their products are free and they are in a small program. After you authorize Twinmotion, register in it, then install will appear, 5GB of installation and then launch. If something is not clear, ask in comments. I'll tell you what to do it if you don't understand something. After that we start the program, just click on launch. And here for example if you use the bridge between Twinmotion and ArchiCAD, Rabbit or SketchUp, then this is done literally in an instant. From your programs, from Beam Editors, you get a model in Twinmotion immediately. But if you have a model like mine, then you need to prepare it first. To do this, we will use the Merge All tool. That is, you should better select a few hundred, 200, 300 of the objects if you have a lot of them. Then, to do Merge All. That is, press X and Merge All. But this is a script. And first you need to download this script. You can download the script from scriptspot.com. Here just type Merge All. After that transfer the script to 3ds Max. And then you can create a button or just find it by search. After that we export to FBX, that is select FBX here. Click save, click yes. I already saved this file, so now I save it again. Next we see a welcome window. If you don't want it to appear in twin motion constantly, then simply uncheck the box and select the application in which you are used to working. I choose 3ds Max. And then the first button is import. Here I choose import. And OK, that's it, the model is exported. What we can do immediately? It's very cool, convenient and fast. It's for example materials. Glass. Like this. Anyone you want. Well, I will choose this. You can put opacity, less or more, and metallicness. This will be a reflection, too. You can change the color of the glass from any material. Next is concrete. Just take and copy. Next is metal. Suppose you want this kind of metal. We delete this basic plane. We also have, now we go higher, here are vegetation and landscape. Here we have our model. We can select it and move. But you have to choose a group, not separate objects. Although you may need it separately. And then landscape. Let's say flat, just a step, the flat surface of the earth. And we can lower the surface a little. Or controversially to raise a building, for example. How is this model updated? For example, we want to have the metal not pointed to the surface. We just take a new material. By the way, Merge All made it so that all objects are combined and created by multi sub object. We will apply any material to the flat surface of the earth. And after that, when we click, we will already have not 7 but 8 materials when we copy the materials with a pipette. And after that, we do export again. Save the model again. 
and click OK here. And in 3ds Max, where we export, we just re-import. We can also use relocate, change the model for example. And to this plane, we can apply the material. There is a context here. We can put any background that we want. Rotate it. We can take Urban Building and we can choose I'll choose my country here. Or more precisely, one of the coasts. And then I'll choose, for example, this action. And press grab. That's all. Our building will be loaded now, but it will be the contours of the buildings, that is, you must then edit the height of the buildings, if you want it. We can take our building and drag it here. If you don't understand some things, what and how I did, then ask questions, and if you're interested, I will record the video how to use this tool in more detail. We go further. We have the pathways, for example, people will walk. Here they go. Cars. We also draw a path. You can turn it somewhere in this way, so the cars go. Click on the leaf, localization. We can change the weather. You can look at here yourself. There are seasons, light, simulation of global lighting, vegetation. You can drag one tree at a time, or You can drag those trees that you want to have here. You can choose several at once. And so just draw a line. You can make a smaller diameter. For example, 2 meters. And after that, we can create several cameras. First, second, third, panorama. The panorama point will be here, for example. And B motion. There will be created an application that can be opened on any computer and show not in the editor, but demonstrate a model on the customer's computer, for example. Then we save our pictures. If there is a video, we also save it, and after that we click Start, and indicate where we want to save. That's it, exporting. After exporting, you will find your pictures, your videos, and your panoramas in the folder that you specified. Well, 
I think this tool, if you didn't know about it, should interest you. And if you knew about this tool, now you know that this tool is free. You can use it for free. If it was interesting, put thumbs up.